And hello, greetings, shalom. Shalom. All right. I'm Dr. Larry, senior pastor, my wife, assistant pastor here in Power and Faith Kingdom Center for Ambassadors. And we got, again, a word from the king for you. Now, our message is uh, what we teach is the gospel of the kingdom, the good news of the kingdom, the king and his dominion that he has restored back unto us to colonize the earth and to carry out the original mandate. And that covers everything, including culture. So we're going to be uh, getting here on getting in on uh, a particular holiday. We want to actually give you uh, some truth behind it mm -hmm. relative to kingdom light as being the source. Kingdom light as being the source. There is nothing left uncovered when it comes to Yeshua and what he has done for us and his commands, his laws, his word, his direction for our lives and what are we to do in the earth. So we're going to look at the Thanksgiving holiday and uh, trace its original source and uh, bring out some information you probably don't know right now because things have been changed, definition of terms have been changed. But if you look at the origin of a source and it's not of light, then relative to kingdom citizens, then we don't get into that. All right, so we're going to just get into this, this teaching, uh, because Renee, what it is is that uh, it seemed to be have been made a religious day. Yeah. And you got kingdom citizens uh, practicing religion and don't know it. Right. Um, religions carry labels. That's why when, ask who, when people ask, who are we? Well, we are kingdom citizens. We're an ambassador. We are ambassadors. Mm -hmm. I mean, sons of the most high, you know, El Elyon. And uh, so all the other labels, labels, especially the main dominant religions that's even in America, you got primarily the Muslim, uh, the Jews, and, and Christian. Catholicism, those are the three primary religions. And uh, of course, so when we go into it, uh, we're gonna be teaching from kingdom concepts, right. the king and his dominion, right. and not the Roman Catholic Church dominion, not Muhammad do dominion, uh, not the Torah dominion, yeah. you know. It's good to make that distinction mm -hmm. because as kingdom ambassadors, we're to represent Elohim, not what we think, not what mm. the traditions have passed down throughout the years, right. but, you know, kingdom, what does Elohim think about the matter? So I'm, I'm really elated that we're going to talk about this on today. Yeah, you attack everything once light come in. <laughs> I mean, nothing is exempt and we're right. not hateful. We're not bashing nobody. Again, the citizens who have been born again of the kingdom mm -hmm. need to start living by his laws. Yes. Now, the king word is his law. Grace does not terminate the word of the king. All right. And that one concept right there will help a lot of people. I was one young man was telling me, he said, you know, I always ask some questions about that. And I'm glad <laughs> that you taught that because he got his answer. He yeah. got his questions yeah. answered and come to find out that uh, when you look at, if you study from translations, literally, you already set up for a fall. That's right. You set up for the enemy to get in and deception to get in. Main thing, set up for religion to set up its stronghold. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to go into this. Uh, we got plenty of teaching on Christmas and Easter and uh, Pentecost Sunday, those other three uh, secular holidays that uh, a lot of believers actually think they are holy days, but they are not. Here is one key. Anything that the government make legal and pay you for, that's <laughs> not of the kingdom. Oh, that's, that's a good way to... I mean, that, that's solve it all right there. Right, right. That's solve it because uh, the government of this world is not the government of the kingdom. That's right. And there, never there even are, thought about it like that. Right. There are no paid holy weeks or holy days that Yeshua, Elohim, the Father, have uh, designated for us to keep, mm -hmm. designated for us to celebrate. None of them are legal. Not zero, not one. Mm -hmm. So that tell you right there that uh, for those, you know, who want to know, you, everybody didn't go for that. You know, some people as well, I'm, I don't have nothing to do with organized religion. Me neither. I don't have nothing to do. <laughs> what about unorganized religion? Right, or organized. Religion <laughs> is religion. We can look at it. I won't have nothing to do with, uh, I use the term to use church. And, and, you know, because they did, and you're absolutely right. I mean, that's why I tell you, no, you're absolutely right. Because, you know, too many lies are constantly being taught. And uh, religion 
here's a point here. Religion is one of the one of the most powerful force that can exist in our belief system. Because mm -hmm. religion, a, a person to put on a bomb and go blow up babies and children and families right. because of their belief system. Religion, yeah. people uh, uh, take swords and cut people's head off. They don't confess to being Christian. Mm -hmm. All this stuff has been done. Religion will cause people to turn against you, hate you, talk about you. Oh, now what they doing that? Shoes. All that old stuff, that's religion. No, no, this is truth. So we better get started. Yes, yeah, so let's get started. Dealing with uh, Kingdom Revelation, the truth behind Thanksgiving. So we're going right, to get right into the word of Elohim. And we want to start off with dealing with precepts mm -hmm. and Tehillim 119, 100. Now, what is Tehillim? Tehillim. Oh, I'm so sorry. It, mm -hmm. It's just flowing out now, right? Right. So Tehillim is actually the Hebrew word for uh, what some say psalm. Mm -hmm. okay. The original, in other words, it's the original. Yes. Uh, so we detox colonization, mm -hmm. which is wrong, and leave things in the original settings. Now, we know that in order to understand Hebrew, we translate it properly into English so we can get understanding. But you don't translate people's names. You mm -hmm. don't translate cities. That's gentrification as well as colonization. Mm -hmm. When you change the name of a city, change the name of a person, and give them your nationality, you have just made them a citizen of your nation. That's right. And yeah. serve it the identity of that person. So some will ask why it doesn't matter. Yes, it matters. And many times when people are saying, it doesn't matter because they really don't have the knowledge of it. Exactly. So I, I was one knowledge. of those people saying, mm -hmm. well, I mean, what, what's the big deal? It doesn't matter. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. I was one of those. Yeah, she was. Yeah. And and thing about it, I didn't I don't force my wife to believe what I believe. I mm -hmm. just keep teaching the truth. And uh once she get a hold to it his own, because you know, this girl here like a black panther or yeah. something. She uh -huh. just get a hold of something and just go all the way with it. Anyhow, anointed black panther. Anyhow, okay, that'll be Psalms in English, but it's Tehillim is the correct uh, enunciation of that word. Yeah, so Tehillim one nineteen one hundred, the word Elohim reads: Understand more than the age, because I have kept your precepts. Mm -hmm. I have kept my feet from every evil way, that I might observe your word. I have not turned aside from your ordinances. For you have taught me how sweet are your promises to my taste, more than honey to my mouth. Through your precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, mm -hmm. I hate every false way. Now, we're going to look at some more uh, verses here. We're going to actually take you to our, our, um, uh, what we are reading in our uh, translations and look at it when we look at this word, man. But notice they, uh, that we, uh, David said, I understand more than the age, age or my elders or my ancestors. Yeah. And the reason why, because he have kept his precepts. Mm -hmm. And of course, we know that precepts are the original thoughts, pre before self thought. Self is another word for thought. Uh, so and we're going to break this down in the Hebrew letter word meaning. So, you know, you can actually uh, the translation will be actually brought out more in depth and more layers will be unlocked when you go to the original language and use the keys of revelation uh to get the meaning of each letter word and i want to add mm -hmm. this I, I don't mean to interrupt but no, I you know interrupt. we teach it yeah so the hebrew language is so powerful i have grown to love it so much um the english language it, it doesn't do justice to what the father is trying to convey to his people mm -hmm. so when we take the time to just break it down definitely know that every letter has a purpose and it it goes back to the original precept of what he was just saying so it's I love it. I hope you love it too. And then since we're already um, talking about it, adding the book King Kingdom Keys of Revelation. This is by Dr. Larry. Uh, definitely. This would be a great tool to have in your library if you don't already have it. It's a tool. It's not to to it's not for lazy people. This this book oh. is written uh, to give you uh, to guide you into the core meaning, and basic meaning of each letter word. But you know, you're going to have to depend on Holy Spirit for illumination. Right. You know, because some people get stuck on the pictorial meaning or mm -hmm. the, the pictograph. Well, it had, that means fence. No, it doesn't. Fence is a picture. In the picture language, when you write it in the ancient Aptimadu Neder, it's a fence. 
and I had to get <laughs> several of our con congregation, you know, to graduate yeah. and pass the what a picture is to actually what the letter word mean and that'll give it because you are here us giving you meanings and you so I don't see that in the book. Yeah, it's there. Mm -hmm. You just have to just take off the restrictions right. and let the Holy Spirit take talk to you. Off. Right. Know what the Holy Spirit told me. He said, no, do this study too for people who really want to know because mm -hmm. they're not going to stop there. They're going to seek me and I'm going I'm to breathe on it and they gonna, it's just yes. going to unlock some things. Yes. So we're going to look at what we got here. He's going to come to me now and we're going to look at the word precept because this has everything to do with revealing the truth behind Thanksgiving and other secular holidays, uh, anything you have relative to truth, it, you have to go back to the original word and not depend on the translators nor the, the lexicon. Some lexicons are accurate and some are not. Mm -hmm. Some just leave you hanging. And at, as a matter of fact, some lexicons will tell you, the Genesius, I know that many uh, words in the original were left out in translation because they didn't have an English meaning exactly, for it. Right. Right. And many words were added in that was not mm -hmm. in the translation. That's right. So how can I stand Which there and say distorted the real meaning of it? Right. So yeah. how can I stand there and say this infallible word of Elohim? Mm -hmm. And it's and it isn't because it, there are errors right. in it in, in the, the Bible. In the Bible in the translation. Yes, yes. But not the scriptures, right? Okay. What you were gonna say? That's what I was gonna say. Okay. That it's errors in the Bible. Because right. the Bible is a book of books, but there are no errors in uh, the scriptures. And, and the Bible is a product of the uh, politicians and religious leaders of Rome. <laughs> yeah. That's, I mean, the Sea and Council. They yeah. said what books you're going to keep and put it in their language. Right, right. You know, Greek and Latin. You know, they, mm -hmm. they did that. So, all right. So, are we here now with me, Israel? All right. So, uh, here's the word precepts, and you're going to see three of them three Hebrew words that were that were translated into precept. Mm -hmm. Now, one of them we're going to see shouldn't be precept, but it's translated precept. Because remember, precept is the beginning thought, a crystallized thought of the father that was generated by his idea. Because ideals come with thoughts and mm -hmm. thoughts spoken are words and words written, then we have a documented in script. So what's written should be the word of Elohim, which are his thoughts, which are going to constitute his total idea about a matter. Okay. And then uh, once we get that precept, then we have the concept, which is all the thoughts uh, put together on the picture so we can see the whole idea. All right. All right. So we see this, uh, this, this, the main one is instructions or procedure. Mm -hmm. Instruction. It's, it's pronounced pecued. Pecude, mm -hmm. okay, and uh, Bakudim, there it is right there. Mm -hmm. Now, you see all of these verses, I'm just scrolling down, and most of them are in Tehillim uh, concerning precepts. So now we know it's a beginning thought. So, Dr. May, just read a couple of these because we have more here. Just You can just write here. Uh, here's one, Tehillim 119 and 15. I will meditate on your original thoughts and, contem and contem contemplate your ways. You get one, Dr. Nick. Right, where are you, babe? Right there, just e either one of them. Okay, I will meditate on your precept. Okay, you said mm -hmm. that one, and then uh, 27. Make me understand the way of your precepts, so shall I meditate on your wonderful works. Mm -hmm. And then uh, verse 40, behold, I long for your precepts. Revive me in your righteousness. Look at 93, I will never forget your precepts. For by them you have given life, by his precepts, yes. his original thoughts, not anything, any doctrine, any theology that's been, been produced by religion, mm -hmm. or that's been produced by the government. None of that. So we just want to show you how many times this, this word here is used. And we'll go to the Hebrew letter words meaning. Uh, we have, um, yeah, let's do each one. Okay. All right. So... Looking at the Hebrew letter word meaning, uh, meaning you're gonna show them on there. Yeah, it's it's he, he he's they looking at it. I'm going to run my my point around it. Okay, good. And that's right. uh, how you pronounce it, pakudim. Yes. All right. And so the first all of that is pay. Mm -hmm. And so pay is telling us. Let's give them all all of them. Then we'll tell them what they mean each individual. <laughs> okay. 
So the first one is pay. The next one is cool. Mm -hmm. Next one is Bob. Mm -hmm. Next one is Dalette. Mm -hmm. Then we have Yud, and then it ends with Mem. And we read in Hebrew, Hebrew reads from right to left. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we're gonna give you the meaning of each Hebrew letter word, and it's not confined to one because each letter word is spelled with a word. Like you spell pay, pay aleph, or pay high. Right. So when we give you the meanings, we are uh, take, uh, getting out, extracting the meaning from the entire spelling of the word. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do in the book. We give you the entire spelling of that little word. Yes. So you won't be limited to to speak, but you will know what the entire letter word mean. I just do this since I'm on it, Dr. Ray going to get the rest. Because mm -hmm. if you look at pay meaning high, it's spelled two ways, pay aleph or pay high. Mm -hmm. And we know aleph is making reference to the father who governs by the word of his authority. Mm -hmm. All right. And high mean a, a, a revelation of heaven through the word that's being spoken. So we got pay is the power of the father's word and the father's word to be revealed. What word? The word of his authority. Mm -hmm. So that's what that whole letter word mean. And remember, we're talking about original thoughts. Yes. All right, go ahead, Dr. Renee. Okay, and so the next um, letter word is kuf. Mm -hmm. And so kuf, the, the picture meaning of kuf is actually a picture of a back of a head. Mm -hmm. So it's telling me that the intent or the way a person is thinking. Mm -hmm. All right, and then the next one is... Let me go into that a little deeper. Yes, go ahead. All right, I thought she was going to get the whole letter word because the picture is a back of a head, but the meaning for the entire letter kuf it means what follows yes. the intended or the purpose of the word. Wherever the word is established, the purpose of the word is established, that what follows. Whatever he say, all of his power follows that. Yes, because kuf is spelled, it's actually spelled um, kuf pay, I believe. I'm going to mm -hmm. have to look it up to verify. Mm -hmm. And so that is the spoken word of the father when we were talking about pay just then. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the next uh, Hebrew alphabet is Bob, mm -hmm. which is telling me that something has been established. Mm -hmm. And then Bob is spelled Bob Bob. And it's right there because they're looking at it. You can keep going. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. The next one is Dalet. Mm -hmm. Is that Dalet? Yeah. Dalet, yeah. Okay. So Dalet is uh, telling me that um, there's access, access to what? To the kingdom teachings or the culture of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. um, then we have Yud. Mm -hmm. Yud is telling me that there's the power and the creative ability of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And then the last one is Mem, which is life-giving spirit. You're right. Mm -hmm. And note that Mem is on the end and one of the, the uh, about the language in the Hebrew, you got a closed Mem and an open Mem. Now the, the ancient Mem, you don't see an open or closed. It's just a picture of a, a wave of water. Okay. All right. But the, the ancient Hebrews knew that if they put that on the end, what it meant, it meant a secret being revealed. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, if it's closed like that, because it's going to open up a secret. So this whole word that me on the end, life giving spirit is letting us know a secret that the anointing life giving spirit is, is the anointing mm -hmm. that the anointing is revealed. And what is it? It's the original thoughts of the father. So you was going to give one meaning you get out of it, right? No, that was it. Okay, so uh, so when we look at it, we see that uh, precepts are the words of the Father yes. and His intent, His purpose, uh, that's kuf, that is established, mm -hmm. all right? And then that vav, and then you got dalet, has to do with keys or authority or access, right? And then you got you talking about His power and mem, the life-giving spirit. So the, his thoughts come from who he is, his right. anointing, his anointing, and his power, you. And he, that door, uh, in this tense, uh, Dalet means to be open or have access to. So he give us access to his original thoughts. Mm -hmm. That's why David said, I, 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 because I know his precepts. Right. He have given me access to his thoughts, to his power, to his spoken word to his purpose, to his intent. And they are instructions and commands. Yes. Yeah, so that's that's that one. So we see now that anything that doesn't uh, 
come from the anointing, his power, uh, that's a, uh, that he established the vow, and, and that follows his intent, his purpose, and his word is not of him. So that's why it's important as kingdom ambassadors that I make sure that I conform to his word mm -hmm. instead of trying to make his word conform to my lifestyle. Right. This is what we've had this thing mixed up like, well, instead of me saying, well, I feel a certain way. Well, what right. does the word say? Right. It has already been spoken. It's already been already settled. established. Yeah. Because right. Yeshua said your word is forever established, but va. Right. Connected, even in spelling of uh, Yahweh, uh, or some say Yahuwah, Yud Hai Vav Hai. There's a Vav in it. Right. So uh, that's, and Yeshua said, Your word is forever established in heaven. Mm -hmm. Then he said, Your will, which is his word, be done on earth just as it is in heaven. Nothing changed. So something, if anything changed, including holidays, because holidays are part of culture, celebrations are part of culture. And here's a concept that you really want to keep in your, uh, getting your belief system. Here's, here's a fact. All right. Culture is a result of laws. Mm -hmm. So whoever control the law, control the culture. So if you see something, that's why we said, if it's a legal paid day by the secular government, then it's part or a product of that law. And whoever is controlling law is controlling that behavior pattern. Culture is a behavior pattern. So turkeys and sweet potato pie and all that stuff, <laughs> that, that is a result. That's a behavior, a yeah. tradition, a traditional behavior pattern. Right. Right. right? So uh, culture has to do with the way people behave, their uh, belief systems, what they believe, what they have in common. So we look at it. The turkey and a sweet potato pie and, you know, eating and getting stuff and visiting and family and all <laughs> that is there because of a law mm -hmm. is have instituted that culture. So who control the law is responsible for that culture, that behavior pattern. And it's not in the scripture. Right. And we're not we're not against family. I mean, we have proven that through mm -hmm. the teachings and through mm -hmm. the word of Elohim. Of course, we support family. Right. But we don't want to be conformed to what the, the world is dictating and telling us what we should do and when we should do that. You know, family is, is used to open up deception. Mm -hmm. Just like children are used during, yeah, during holla, Halloween. Yes. Well, yes. you know, it's for the children. They go do can and they're, and they're worshiping demons, mm -hmm. you know. And it's done. It's and it's like it's it's actually righteous. You got churches do the same thing, mm -hmm. you know. And people because truth has not been given, have not been taught. And then when you look at the truth and you see that's a culture, and it came about because of a law. And then you go back to who came up with that law. What is their real intent? Mm -hmm. What is the real intent? You're using family to do something. Right. And you misusing family because the father didn't put the family here to wait until the government tell you when to come together and visit each other. Right. So we have to just open all that up. You yeah. Know? Yeah. All right. So the so we looking at it again. Did the king produce this law that produced this culture, this behavior pattern? Did it come from the word of Elohim? Well, we supposed to give thanks. I thought the scripture said in everything, give thanks and at all time, give thanks. I didn't never found it yet where he said, wait till once a year to give him thanks mm -hmm. or to have a special day to give him thanks. So what's your response? It was almost my, like, my, happy, my happy thanks you. When I say, uh, you know what? I'm giving him thanks every day that I'm breathing. <laughs> Yeah. Would I get a turkey or not? Would a turkey die or a sweet potato get boiled? It don't make me no difference. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful every day. Right, right. Yeshua, matter of fact, the power of Thanksgiving, actually, it, it, it releases multiplication. Mm. And if, if, if we get a hold to the truth and the light, yeah. you remember when Yeshua, he gave thanks and broke the bread. Right. And it, it multiplied. Okay. He gave thanks and, and blessed those fish, and it was multiplied. So he was giving the original his original thoughts behind the heart of Thanksgiving that you always have increased. You won't run out. It ties right into overflow mm -hmm. and to okay. heal him. Uh, 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 no, Miss Leah uh, three called Proverbs three and nine and 10. When he said you honor him with the first fruits, then he'll cause things to overflow, you know, so we honor him with thir first fruits and that's a way of giving. So anytime we honor him with our first fruits giving, we're giving him thanks. And he said, I'll make sure you have more than you, enough. Your business be blessed. Everything right. you do will be blessed. Your, and when he said the wine press and your bonds will be filled with plenty because every day 
I'm I'm living. I'm, I got a heart of Thanksgiving, yes, and a turkey good. don't have nothing to do with it. We're right. gonna get where that turkey came from and all of that. <laughs> all right, and then here's another word precept. We're just gonna give them because we promised we would. And this one just spell uh, what? Sadevav, Sadevav, and we have another one down here. And actually, this one right here, if you come to me, uh, Mem Sadevav High, and it's uh, check it out what it is. It's yeah. um, Mem Sadevav High. Mem Sadevav High, Mishwa. And that's another, uh, that word it, it spells, actually is making reference to commands, mm -hmm. but they translated it precepts, you know, in, you see over here, commission, command, yeah. commission or command. Mishwa is one of the words for law, mm -hmm. one of the words for law. So right. within his thoughts, you will find his laws. So people who hate law, you really don't want to know his original thoughts. Mm -hmm. And people been taught to be that way. Okay, and then this one right here, Actually, uh, this particular one right here is in Yahshua or Isaiah 28 and 13, and we got it right here. And uh, it's uh, Tusa, Sara. No, is it Tusia, Tusua, Tusua? That's it, Tusia. Uh, and it's spelled what? Sade Vav, just two letters right there. Yeah. Now, we're just going to, because in Yahshua and we're going to take you there, but that's where we, we find line upon line, precept upon mm -hmm. precept. And actually, it should not be translated as precept. Because we see sade, uh, sade means to have a strong desire. So that's the closest word in the English that they could come up with. To they could have got a better one. <laughs> now, <laughs> we're going to show you the translation. <laughs> they get some better ones. Okay. That's just the King James, New King James. And, but, you know, this is, not a, this is not talking about the original thoughts at all. So there's not a, a proper translation. Because Sade, of course, you know, you tell them what Sade means. Sade. Sade, Sade. Okay, so Sade, I was just looking at this word. Sade means mm -hmm. uh, to have a strong desire mm -hmm. or a strong pull for something. Right, to mm -hmm. be lustful with it. Yeah. In a good way or a negative way. And then Bob right. means to be connected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that desire is established inside of me. It's, a, it's connected to me. And uh, when you see what this, actually, um, this word in the Hebrew doesn't fit this text in Yahshua Yahia. Uh, it's also used in where? Well, I was thinking as in you have a strong desire mm -hmm. or a pull for um, the word of Elohim to be mm -hmm. established in you. That's why I thought that that one was. Yeah, so it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be there because it's making reference to some a desire that's establishing you. Mm -hmm. Now we do, a, if I run this word down, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna come up with a word for craving, or lust mean to crave or desire something that's in me that I desire strongly. It could also over in Yaqab where he said, for a man is drawn away by his own lust or and then he's tempted. A man is drawn away by his own evil desires. Yeah, his own desires. Uh -huh. are, you know, that's what that word fit. It doesn't fit here hmm. because we're going to see it in a minute. Now, in Hosea 5 and 11, it says Ephraim is oppressed and broken in judgment because he willingly walked by human precepts or human desires mm -hmm. humanism okay human now that fit there because whom human precepts the original thoughts of of a uh, uh, man but he's not talking about the original thoughts he's just talking about what a what we desire that's humanism okay I get because you remember in barashi uh when uh, the fallen cherub who appeared as an angel of light not a snake he appeared as an angel of light uh he said he placed a uh, a uh, 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 thought of doubt had elohim said Mm -hmm. And he said, this would be good and, and, and uh, to make you wise they were, and make you like Elohim. They were already like it. Of course, he already bring you something that's already there. And then the scripture said when she saw that it was desirable, mm -hmm. something that she wanted. Right. And once she wanted it, it was established on the inside of her. Mm -hmm. And Adam sat there and did the same thing. He said, yeah, I think I want that. Humanism. That's when humanism was born. Yes. All right. So this is not a good one, and we're going to show it to you because let's look at the lexam, how it translated. Uh, let's let's come over here uh, to us, and uh, let's look at the lexam, and see how it's translated. Now, actually, he was dealing with religion. Now we got a lot more teaching. Look like this is not going to get through in this session, because as we stated earlier that Thanksgiving has become a religious day. Mm -hmm. People have go to church on Thanksgiving. 
they have things we used to do it Thanksgiving messages. Right. Say this is a day that we giving that we giving giving God thanks. That's what we doing. It's a special day that we want to honor because the government had finally got some sense and they want to acknowledge the government was not acknowledging. <laughs> no, the government was not. The government acknowledges the God of Mammon. Right. When you look at how much money the food industry, like they take times throughout it, the look and alcohol make their money on Halloween, costume. Uh, then on Thanksgiving, the yeah. food industry make their money. And then on Christmas, clothing, everybody make money then. Mm -hmm. Then on Easter, they make money. You know? Yeah. That's why it's legal, actually. All right. All right. But if you look at Yashi Yeho uh, we're going to uh, read in a minute, but I want to give you what happened. Uh, what happened is that in verse 7, when he talks about, and they should be seeing what we are seeing. Uh, all these also stagger because of wine and stagger because of strong drink. Priests and prophets stagger because of strong drink. They are confused because of wine. They stagger because of strong drink. They err in vision. That is the Lexham English Bible translation. What he was saying, when you see in the scripture talking about being drunk with wine, that's religion. Mm -hmm. Right. Because religion throw off uh, spiritual logic. Yeah. or the foundation of what the father intended. Mm -hmm. And just like when you get drunk, then you just say stuff you ain't got no business saying, doing stuff you had no business doing, your logical reasoning is thrown off. And that's what religion does when it comes to the word. You can't have a proper understanding of the word if you're drunk on religion. Yeah. That's and that's what the enemy has been done. So you can uh, read uh, verse 9, start there. Cause, so you're see, in the lexicon. You want me to change to that translation? Oh, you can read mine. You can see it right there. Okay, can okay. you see it? Okay, because yeah, uh, yeah. all right now, when she started reading here, this is the drunk people on religion responding to the word, responding to the prophet here. Go ahead, Doctor Nay. Okay, to whom will he teach knowledge, and to whom will he explain the message? Those who are weaned from milk, those who are taken from the breast. These some bad jokers. They actually speaking back to the prophet. Mm -hmm. So who's going to teach knowledge? Who's going to explain this message? For it is blah, blah upon blah, blah, you blah, read blah, blah, there you go. blah, 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 ga upon ga ga, ga ga upon ga ga. Wait a minute. Let's look at the <laughs> NIV. You see, it, it, where, now they, they corrected that translation. In these translations, they corrected it. Now look at verse 10 in the NIV. Okay. Verse 10. For it is, do this, do that. A rule for this, a rule for that, a little here, a little there. Humanism. Mm -hmm. And then Sheol talked about uh, the wisdom of this world, human wisdom. Right. Don't eat, don't touch, don't, don't, you know, don't touch, don't do this. He said, that's human uh, wisdom. Mm -hmm. And he said, we've been delivered from the elements of the world. So the, here are they drunk with religion, telling the prophet, oh, man, you know, I mean, you, you're going to teach us something? Well, this, this, that, and this, that. Man, we ain't thinking about that stuff, you know. And uh, the scripture put it like that, and then he rebuked them. So we want to point that out to bring clarity on that scripture. You can read it. Y'all can read it, the rest of it, in your own study time. Now we're going to um, go back here to our word study. Okay, there it is. Up there. So those are the three words. And we see one of them is, is actually, uh, Mishweb is actually the commands. It's a result of, say this word again, uh, um, Pecutum? Yeah, Pecutum. Uh-huh. Pecutum, uh, Mishwab is what come out of Pecutum. It's the commands. Okay. And of course, Pecutum, instructions, procedures, mm -hmm. you know, is laid out like that. All right, so we took a while on that and we needed to do that because if you don't get, if you don't see the precepts, so if, you're, if, if we're not exposed to the original thoughts, then we never have the, uh, 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 opportunity to receive them and they become our concepts. Right. We would never get to understand it. Yeah. When, as you were speaking, um, because because when we are teaching, things sometimes get extensive. Mm -hmm. But the the root of the matter is that we have to go to the root. Right. To see what the problem is. Right. Because now so many people are wanting a quick answer, like. Well, so and so. Well, Say why it. is this? Say it, baby. Well, why is that? Mm -hmm. Well, in order for us, and we're getting ready to deal with the six stages of conformity as well. Mm -hmm. In order for me to understand why I am acting or living the way that I'm living, mm -hmm. then I have to go back right. to the original thought uh, of what happened. Right. Right. And the original thought 
comes from the idea. Mm-hmm. All right. And the thought, once we accept it, it becomes our concept. Yeah. Con, agree, accept with the thought. Yep. And that concept, and she's going to go through it. Concept We're already is, there. It's going to produce. <laughs> yeah, let's go to our notes, Israel. Yes. Con- concept is going to produce convictions. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's look at it. Let's go take us through it, Becky. Okay, so we were talking just briefly about the six stages of conformity. How did I end up how I am right now? So number one, uh, the precept, which is the original thought that comes from an idea, that's the precept or the source. So the original idea is from Elohim. The Father, that should be where our source is coming and from. And source from can him. come from something else. Yes, So exactly. wherever the source comes from, that's if there's a father of it, right? That's right. So that taking us back to who, we're going to find out who put this law out. Who is the father? Yes. And who, or what is the original source? What's the original source? Of, a, of, of, of Thanksgiving. Now, I, I don't fight Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. but don't make it, don't say that it's, it's, it's of scripture. Right. Cause no, most people don't even know. I mean, this particular year, mm-hmm. Thanksgiving is so close to Hanukkah. It makes you think, okay, so there are so many people who are going to be celebrating Thanksgiving and you say that you're a believer. So are you going to celebrate Hanukkah as well? If they don't know, they can't. Right. And the people haven't been taught. Okay. That's why we are here. We're here to teach and bring a word from the king. Okay. That's that's what the gospel is, the message, the word of the king mm-hmm. concerning his kingdom. But I thought Hanukkah was just for Jews. Oh, yeah. We're going to get that too. Absolutely not. It's <laughs> not just for Jews. That's right. what it's getting ready to say. No. That's, okay. that's, that's replacement theology. Yeah. And it works. Mm-hmm. Again, we're dealing with, she go through this, is the source, the word, uh, is, uh, or the father, or is it humanism? Is it a, uh, what was that word, sadevab, sai, is it that Hebrew word, sadevab? Mm-hmm. If it's, is it a human desire, something that was establishing a person that they put out mm-hmm. here and wow. made it legal, and then religion was easy to come in and take over? Mm. That's, that's what, come on, baby. All right, so it. number two is a concept, uh, which is a conceived precept. The um, concept, as he was saying earlier, con means with and then sep, the thought. So that concept is dealing with that precept that was conceived. Mm-hmm. All right. And then number three, uh, the conviction. Um, your conviction follows the concept, mm-hmm. which is simple. Number four, mm-hmm. your belief system that is the set of conviction. So we're getting to why am I acting the way that I'm acting? So what's another word uh, for conviction? Belief system. Belief system of faith. Mm-hmm. Faith is another one. So your, what, what we trust in is what's in our belief system. Right. So if I'm trusting in something, I'm living a certain way, we have to find out where, what produce it. What, 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 I was talking to someone, and they said, I just don't have no desire to, you know, to do righteousness and stuff. I said, you know what? It's because of what you're listening to. Your, what do you do? your desire is being birthed by your father mm-hmm. or the source of the way that you think what you listen to and what you're seeing mm-hmm. you're not going to change yeah. until you change your father who's your daddy change the source you change the right. source this process is a spiritual law mm-hmm. satan know this he use it it's very effective right. and many are not aware of this and they're still struggling and got the t-shirt on you know, he's still working on me and this, that, and the other. Well, you know, God understand and stuff like that because they don't understand this law right here. Right. This is why true repentance cannot take place until right. you change the right. way that we think. Mm-hmm. Um, that we're wanting to act different, be different, have right. different results. Mm-hmm. But until I uproot that one way of thinking mm-hmm. and put the correct way of thinking, which is the word of Elohim, the way he thinks, not the way I think, mm-hmm. but the, what the way the word says we're supposed to think, then we'll get different results. So I, I'm going to do this because I hear people. And by the way, we're going to need a time check from my tech because I didn't start it right or something. <laughs> All right, just let us know when we got 10. Okay. All right. So, um, okay. So, you know, you, you just said it, 
And it's like, it's too easy. So if I change the way that I think, I can't do that until I change what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. So what do you right. change what do you, the source? Change the source. Change it right. You just said it earlier when you said who was your daddy. Right. Change the source. I thought you I was like, who's my dad? You talking to no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. So the you're, you're thinking not gonna change until the this what you hear. I mean, yeah. we have to stop hearing that, seeing that. Once we stop hearing that and seeing that and hearing the word and seeing the word being lived out in people's lives, when I accept that, that law starts to work in me. Yeah. Then the change takes place. You can lay your hands on, you can buy 10, 10, 100 gallons of oil and go all night, anointing service, shut-ins, everything else. But if that person did not change what they are hearing, uh, what when we say see what you getting in your mind because when we hear a word that word develop a picture in our mind mm -hmm. You know and then it get in the belief system. So we got to change that and then that's what uh, point number four is The right. belief system, right? Right. All right. So we just said number four and then number five Ideology the system of ideas that you accept as, as being, being true. true so if a person think it's all right to shack and do this and still go to heaven that I tell him, I said, well, that's what you believe. Mm -hmm. And right. until you hear something different and once you hear it, you got the free will to make a choice whether you want to accept it or not. If you don't accept it, you're going to keep believing it. Right. Yeah. So I used to hollering at them and doing this and doing this and rebuking them. That's, that's in that belief system. Get them to change, make an exchange, get them to hear something different. Put the light before them. If they reject the light, that's on them. Right. If they accept the light, it'll bless them. You know, there are only two ways to go. And that's our, our style of teaching is like that. That's why I would always say, I'm going to teach you the word, and it's up to you what you do with it. Because yeah. if you right. don't accept it, me teaching you 24 7 until your eyes turn black, blue, purple, green, and red, mm -hmm. you're not going to change if you don't accept what's being taught. Yes, yes. Well, I don't accept that. That's religion. <laughs> that's that stronghold. Topic. That's that strong. We, we're going to get to that. That's stronghold. <laughs> Ooh, Anytime you hear the word and yeah. hear light, and you say something different, it's really not you. It's the stronghold in you that's controlling you speaking. Mm, yeah, that's what it hit is. You. That's what it is. Okay, don't don't hit them. Don't hit them. And then number six, philosophy. But did you hear what you just said though? Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Number six, philosophy. That that's what becomes your lifestyle. So we're wanting mm -hmm. a lifestyle change, but until we go back to the very beginning. Mm -hmm. that original precept the lifestyle will not change won't change yeah and as a matter of fact that lifestyle if it's inconsistent on and off you know coming back for the same thing it's mm -hmm. because that original precept was never received it, it never was ex uh, exchanged never, never, never really never to i mean mental assenting yeah is what excuse me what's going on a person mental assent Mm -hmm. And really don't it don't get to the wheel. They don't never make they never make a choice on it. Right. No. And so um, the wheel is where the power is. And and witchcraft uh, is used manipulation to control the wheel. See, yeah. people don't know that in our country it's full of witchcraft. Mm -hmm. It's one of the most hideous nations on this earth relative to witchcraft that look good, smell good, and sound good. And all these other nations, just because it's raw and you know, they get ugly and you see the marks and you see you know, well, we know this, but it's worse here because people are den in denial of what's actually there because the deception is so great. Mm -hmm. So that's going to bring us. Now, all this has to do with identifying the truth and making sure that kingdom citizens understand that uh, it has been made a religious day. Sinners are celebrating this day because it's legal. Yeah. Off work, eating, getting fat, ugly, bold, just like <laughs> everybody else is. I mean, gaining all that weight, <laughs> then have to look at this. Gain all that weight, damage your health, damage your body, and then in the gym after New Year's. <laughs> and it's a constant cycle. For the first two months. Yeah, first, and then stop and go right back. And then, you know, the health is damaged. It, it doesn't make sense, is what I'm saying. Yeah. And for a kingdom citizen, think that way. Because mm -hmm. culture actually it has been prioritized. Humanistic culture has been prioritized over kingdom culture. Yes. All right. So Definitely. we bring the light. We bring in the light. We bring in the light. And that's yes. what our next point and we're gonna Wrap end it, it on this, this and we'll pick up on our next session right on strongholds mm -hmm. on strongholds. this is the reason why well you know 
I don't know. I stop all the other stuff, but I ain't stopping Thanksgiving. I said, well, you know, I, I don't know about that. That's not, that's, that's not you thinking. Right. Or Christmas. Or who? Christmas. I was saying. Yeah, Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. All right. So let's look at this. We'll come to our notes again. And this is what uh, we were speaking on. Uh, let's, you can read it. Right. If a stronghold is in us, when truth comes, it will reject or oppose truth. And then the next one is, it's not you speaking, it's the stronghold in you speaking. Wow. In other words, it, when, anytime you begin to defend, that's not, that's the stronghold that's in you that needs to be uprooted, mm -hmm. that's speaking. So that's powerful there. Right, right. So that's why when you ask me, when people ask me that, I, I just give an answer that, because you really don't want to know. Because mm -hmm. we have to sit down and fellowship and, and get into the word and we you, that you won't get a quick answer. Yeah. That's why I say I just I'm thankful every day. You know, I'm good. Well, your family going to be visiting. Well, since they off and if they want to do that, that's great. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not at any time you can get together with family. But the, here's the damage. There's a mixture and we can't sit at the t table of demons and sit at the Lord's table. Mm -hmm. We can't mix humanism with kingdom. The father established family. He has an intent for family. He know why he put family together and it never was for the family to be governed by laws of the government. The family was to be governed by the governor, the Holy Spirit, the anointing in us. And if we got to wait till the end to do that, that's not right. If you want to take advantage of it, fine. You can come by, fine. If you don't, fine. I'll see you Saturday. <laughs> I'll see you Friday. You don't, you don't have to because I know that's not making me no more righteous. Mm -hmm. You know, and, right. it, you know, it, it's not bringing anything helpful in my life other than spending a lot of money mm -hmm. and eating a lot of stuff I don't need to be eating. Because right. the turkey, you, you, you know, and um, let me say this. <laughs> we're going to get into this. Let the turkey live. No, I, my thing is <laughs> where were our ancestors doing this little dinner that was going on? Mm. Did we get in a turkey? We got his foot and toenails. Now, native born black Americans should be the main ones who need to wake up and smell the coffee. We're going to get into it. It's something been burnt and it's been burnt very bad. And, you, and most of the time it's still falling in the category of uh, our former oppressors religion. That's why uh, a lot of uh, native on black Americans, they say they woke and they walk away from Elohim. They walk away from Yeshua. They walk away from the Messiah, walk away from the word and they go uh, begin to get into other types of religion. Mm -hmm. So anyway, now we're giving it from a kingdom perspective. So we know that this is religious day now. We know religious people started it, supposedly, mm -hmm. you know. So now we're going to look in the scripture and see what the word have to say about religious stronghold. Right. I mean, some people worry because they don't have enough money or they didn't cook. People getting depressed because uh, uh, ain't Nanny not here to cook up favorite pie and then you think about how good it was and you're crying and you're weeping. None of the holy weeks or holy days in scripture have any of that promise or embedded in it. All of them are celebrations and full of joy. All of them. Right, right. Every last one. Wow. We celebrate Hanukkah or the Feast of Dedication because they didn't compromise and Yeshua was conceived in the womb of Miriam. We happy about that. Mm -hmm. We happy about that. Yeah. So let's look at Matthew Yahoo. I think we got about five more minutes on this session. And we're going to go into the teaching of the Pharisees. Wow. Teaching of the Pharisees. Something we cannot do in five minutes. No. Well, we can start it. <laughs> and we'll pick it back up. Right, right. The teaching of the Pharisees. So the scripture says, beware. Um, well, this point is, beware of the teachings of the Pharisees. And we're looking at Matthew 5 and 20. Mm -hmm. For I tell you that unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and the Pharisees, there is no way you will enter into the kingdom of heaven. That'll be a good one to end on and begin on because the scripture talk about the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of Elohim or Yah. Mm -hmm. I know God is used, but he, he got a name. He told us what it was. Right, so we right. just do that. All right. So um, Pharisees. Scribes are more like the doctrinal, the, the you know, the recorders. Mm -hmm. They kept it and you, know, you had to do this, this, and here it is. Nope, you, you spoke and feed the cow corn and you fed them soybean. You're wrong. <laughs> They're the scribes, y'all. And then you got the Pharisees. Here, here we have both fall in the category of religion. Because mm -hmm. this is the religion. These are the Yehudites. 
these are the Jews, what you call Jews. I've they did an excellent teacher. I haven't even went and taught that, you know, because she did such a great and what, you know, maybe we'll go back and maybe we won't. But anyway, uh, the Yehudites, that's the word, Yehudites, though they practice the faith of the tribe of Yehuda who didn't compromise relative to following King David or following King, was it Roabam in the rebellion, I believe? We'll get it uh, for sure. But that's where that word come from. But uh, so, and people got the Jewish Jesus. There may be a Jewish Jesus, but there is not a Jewish y Yahshua. Right, right. It, it, that, it, he don't exist. Mm -hmm. He never came to establish or expand Judaism. Right, right. All right, and he said that him, himself. So when we talk about being aware of the teaching of religion, religion is birthed out of humanism. Because religion is man's own way of seeking Elohim, seeking his creator, and man determining the way he's going to do it and the results he get as well as the conclusion. Mm. Yeah. So his, his way may be having a king and a, a Dagon hat on and ooh-ha-ha ha, and doing it that way or uh, 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 whatever that's being practiced that's mm -hmm. not birthed out of scripture. That's religion. And religion is the strongest, again, stronghold right. that can set up in a person belief system. Like we said, people blow people up because of their religion. Uh, the Crusaders cut people head off if they wouldn't confess as being Christians. Mm -hmm. Muslims did the same thing. People were uh, made forced into slavery because of religious yeah. persecution. All of it was based on religion. Pope Edict, uh, uh, Pope Innocent issued an edict, was around 16 or 1400, somewhere in there, that every person who had brown or dark color skin was free game to be made a slave out of, mm -hmm. servant. So the people who came over here along with the natives that were here accepted that mess. It got them to accept it because, you know, uh, 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 black people been, had been to America for years. They find them facts, artifacts of being found today with the uh, statues of Edenites, Akabulam, Africans who came, or Hebrews, they finding they find stuff that uh, proved that they were Hebrews. Had been here, they, I don't know, they thought it was too cold or what, let's go back, you know, they can have this, <laughs> or we're not gonna take these people country, we got one big enough, who knows, but anyway, uh, religion is the power that every, and every leader knows this. Every world ruler knows this. You need religion to control the minds of people. Once you get that religion in there, you can do it in the name of religion and they'll sell out for it. That's right. So we're going to come back and get into it because Yeshua said you need to be aware of that teaching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we appreciate you. Dr. Now you got any final before we go into the next session? Well, I definitely want to um, just greet everyone once again and just say that it's been a blessing to be able to just break this knowledge concerning because there there are so many things that we have taken for granted mm -hmm. and accepted as being true for mm -hmm. year after year after year so mm -hmm. when the truth comes talking about the truth as in from the word of elohim that you know there a decision has to be made either i'm going to accept it or i'm going to reject it but i won't be able to do both and right. so that's what's been going on we've been juggling two lives you know and the scripture tells us how long are you going to hop between two opinions mm -hmm. if y'all is y'all serve him right and then if not you know so yeah so that's what i wanted to share on that all right so we'll be back next session i forgot to do this at the beginning if you're on youtube hit the like button it'll draw more people uh, to our channel, you know, to hear the truth, hear the kingdom precepts, uh, kingdom foundation, kingdom teaching, the message of the kingdom. Hit the subscribe button, the bell at the top, and subscribe to our channel, and you'll be able to go in there, you know, and be notified anytime we come on. Okay, now, of course, we're dealing with exposing, you know, and bringing a separation between the kingdom culture and humanistic culture. That's what we are doing. Yeah. So you won't get caught up. You won't feel bad if you didn't get a turkey. Or you won't feel you did something righteous if you gave out a turkey. It doesn't add. It don't add a thing to you. That person gonna be hungry next week. So and you won't get depressed because right. certain loved ones have transitioned and you're not there to spend it with them. Right. Uh, this year. Things or you like or that. you get cooked all night. Then nobody show up. You won't get mad. <laughs> or you won't be nervous and have a nervous breakdown because you didn't cook. Right. It's just it's the devil is a liar. And I hate him with a passion. When I see stuff like this, light will cause you to uh, be an extremist 
and attack an era. And we attack era with truth. That's what pushed us doing what we are doing. Mm -hmm. And if you're not born again, if you're not a citizen of the kingdom, you don't have to do it the religious way. You do it the kingdom way. And that is the Holy Spirit only draw those. He choose the ones. If we think we chose him, he didn't. Yeshua said, you didn't choose me. I chose you. That's a kingdom precept. Mm -hmm. So if the Holy Spirit is dealing with you, just accept him and change the way you think by accepting his thoughts that you don't have to suffer eternal separation from light, from the Father. Accept him. Acknowledge Yeshua, you did do what I've been hearing you said you did. Mm -hmm. And I received that. You took the punishment for me. You paid the price for high treason. I receive it now and I receive you as my Lord, my owner, and I'm stepping into the kingdom. You pray that, you confess that, you meditate that. Don't say it because I said it, say it because you want to say it. Confess it because you want to out of a pure heart and you become a citizen of the kingdom. We love you much, appreciate you much, and shalom. 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 Three times. Shalom. <laughs>